In this video, I'm going to show how I built this mailbox post and installed it in the ground. I'm also going to show how I added these hot rod flames at the bottom. And I'll start with an unboxing of this mailbox. This is the Gibraltar High Grove large mailbox. It's pretty thick, heavy duty construction. It weighs 11 pounds. Has a magnetic clasp and the hinges seem to be pretty hefty. One modification I'm gonna make is to the flag. I'm spray painting it red so it stands out better for the mailman. This is a 10 foot four by four post. I let it sit out in the sun for about a month for the wood to dry out and to see if it bends. My post didn't bend much, but it twisted a little bit. So I'll have to take that into consideration when I build the post. With the mounting board, I cut a little notch out so it'll stabilize it. Since this sticks up a little bit, I'm going to add this piece right here to even out the distance, kind of matches better. Now I'm going to use this stuff called Minwax Wood Filler to fill in the screw heads and these little splits that are in the wood. This is how I'm going to paint the post. I have it propped up on the tailgate of my truck and it's held up with some weights. This way I can paint all four sides at the same time. I use a fine grit sanding block and sand in between coats. After the two coats of primer, I caulk the little gaps with this Alex Plus caulk. After I cut the post to height, I prime the end, kind of weather seals it a little bit better. My old mailbox was stuck in the ground just with a metal post. There was no concrete or anything. And I was able to dig this two and a half foot hole with a regular shovel. I didn't need a special post hole digger tool. And I take some all purpose stone, got it in the garden section of Home Depot. And I attach these braces 
to the post with some screws and get it nice and level. And I set the post up so it's slightly leaning back because it'll probably settle with the weight of the mailbox and go forward just a little bit. And I bought two 60 pound bags of concrete just in case one bag wasn't enough. And I molded the concrete into a little hump so the water will shed away from the post. And when I come up here with the weed eater, the concrete will protect the post so I don't chew it up with the weed eater string. I looked at a bunch of images of hot rod flames and then I sketched it out on a piece of cardboard, cut it out into a template. Mm -hmm. 